Welcome to the latest edition of Inside Carolina. I'm your host, Hannah Horn, a proud alumna of the university. And we have an exciting episode for you because we are at Colonial Life Arena today to watch a doubleheader of both the men's and the women's basketball games. You can already see fans are starting to stream in for this exciting doubleheader. Now we're gonna take you inside for the action on the court, but we're really here today to talk about the other team. And that's the team here at the university that puts on an incredible game day experience. So we'll talk to the band, the dancers, the fans. We'll also take you to Jacksonville for a couple highlights from the Gator Bowl. Always so much happening with our Gamecock family. So join us as we go inside Carolina. we take you to Jacksonville for a special report from the Gator Bowl. I am uh, Lou Turner. This is First Coast News, Jacksonville, Florida, and hello Gamecock Nation. Proud Gamecock, uh, grew up in the low country. I'm a low country Gamecock, Beaufort, South Carolina. So excited uh, to hopefully get, you know, everybody I know, brothers, sisters, wives, children, grandmas, grandpas get down here in Jacksonville for uh, this wonderful Gator Bowl. And the fact that, uh, you know, 50,000 of my closest friends are going to be here in Jacksonville, Florida, it, it kind of makes the hair on my neck stand up a little bit. I get chills. I'm, I'm thrilled to death. When you got thousands and thousands and you kind of get to flex a little Gamecock muscle and say, hey, we here? That's pretty awesome. I'm Wes Hickman. I'm the CEO of the University of South Carolina Alumni Association. Between the Alumni Association and the Gamecock Club, we've sponsored a few events. The first one you see right here behind us, this is our Gamecock HQ. We've got a really strong club here in Jacksonville, and they're telling us that they're excited. They're excited about Shane Beamer. They're excited about Don Staley. They're excited about what we've got going on on campus. They're excited about Michael Amaritas, our new president. The momentum that we have right now among our alumni is just incredible, and I don't see that stopping anytime soon. It is an exciting year for Gamecock basketball, and you can really feel it in the air here at Colonial Life Arena. The men's basketball team, you know, has a new coach, Lamont Paris, and the women came into the season ranked number one in the nation. So we asked the fans, what keeps you coming here and back? You could be anywhere on a Sunday afternoon, doing anything, you're festive, you got, uh, you got your Gamecock Santa hat on. Why celebrate Gamecock basketball? Because it's, it's so enjoyable. They play good basketball mm -hmm. as well. The thrill of the game, the excitement, I love how the program has gone ever since Coach Staley being here. And I tell you, Dawn Staley is a great coach. I wish that she were my coach a long time ago. Say you've never been to a Gamecock game before. What what can we expect when we get in there? Just feel it. It's be electrifying. It'd be lit. We'd be lit up in there. Rally towers and all would be lit. The experience like all like the fans and like the music. The beginning when they do come out and the end when they're celebrating and doing the alma mater. Go, Go Gamecocks. Go Gamecocks. Go Gamecocks. Okay, you know, one really special moment in any sporting event is when our national anthem is performed. Well, we met one young Gamecock fan whose pipes and patriotism is making a name for herself. Well, I have sung for three volleyball games, Gamecocks, of course, and they really liked me, and so they asked if I could sing for a men's basketball game, and I couldn't, so they asked me another day, and today was it, and I said yes, and I am so excited. I was like, oh my goodness, God, please help me sing all the right notes. <laughs> I usually do good. I, feel, I felt confident, but of course the nerves and just excitement gets to you. A lot happens here on the court, of course, during a basketball game, but a lot's happening on the sidelines as well to keep us cheered and fired up. We spoke with Lindsey Sprague, who is the head coach of the Carolina Girls Dance Team and a couple of the dancers that have all the right moves. 
how do you come up with the moves? I used to do a lot of it myself. Um, this year, we actually took some of our seniors to Las Vegas for a convention called Pro Action. Um, and a lot of pro teams and college dance teams from all over, over the country came and learned um, from some fantastic choreographers. And so a lot of what we're doing at games this season has been from, from that material. Olivia, um, what is it like when, then, when the music comes on and the lights come on and you know your routine like you're just electric and alive out there. It is the most insane feeling. It's really hard to describe honestly. I remember my first time as a freshman just coming out during pregame and there's tears in my eyes. Like I always tell them, I mean, I'm a crier on the team, but I think I've cried almost like every other game. It's just every time it feels so electric. We really have the best fans and the best team. So putting it all together is just really like a feeling I can't describe. So. What drives you to, to have that energy and to leave Gamecock fans and cheers and in that spirit? Yeah, so um, I grew up a Carolina fan, grew up in Columbia, so I've always just had a huge passion for the university, for athletics. So when I'm out there, I kind of picture that younger version of myself and kind of how proud she would be of where I've come. Um, and then also my teammates just bring such an incredible energy and we have the best camaraderie on our team and I like truly love each and every one of them and would have 100 bridesmaids if I could. <laughs> um, so we just have an incredible energy and that kind of helps us reciprocate that to the fans. And I, I like to think that all of the Gamecock fans can see our love for each other through what we do on the field and on the court. One really important member of this spirit team is a guy named Jay Jacobs, and he's the director of the Carolina Basketball Band and the Mighty Sound of the Southeast. He makes sure that this band never misses a beat. Jay, uh, tell me about the the basketball band because Darnell says it's the favorite thing that he does. Okay, so tell me about this band. Oh, the basketball band is fantastic. It's um, it's different from the marching band, although we have a lot of marching band students that make up the basketball band. Um, they rehearse a lot less and perform a lot more, actually, and that's kind of what the students like. They want to get out there in front of the fans and get the energy in the crowd going. But uh, it's a class in the fall semester. We meet uh, Monday nights for about an hour each week uh, just to go through as much music as we can. Uh, it's high energy, high enthusiasm. The students are great. They love it. It's just here to have a good time to support the teams and the coaches. Um, Darnell, you mentioned this is one of the favorite, most favorite things that you do here on campus. Tell me about your experience. It's your third year? Um, this is my third year, but this is the second year that I've done basketball band. Um, last year I got to go to Final Four with the women's and it's just a whole different vibe compared to like everything else I've done, like the players and uh, the students, like people in band get to interact with each other and it's just like a really fun experience to go through and probably the best experience I've had throughout college in my personal opinion. You look like you're really having fun when you're playing, by the way. Is that true? It is absolutely true. It's one of my favorite things to do. I, I have a blast up there and it's it's like an escape for me, you know. I can I can leave it all at the door of the arena and just have a great time. There's also like in addition to like playing music, I heard some chanting going on as well. What is that about? What are what are some of the things you're saying? Oh, we have some little chants. Um, you know, whenever whenever players on the other team get fouls, we we kind of say some things. We say no, no, no for their first one. And the second one we say, oops, we did it again. And then, you know, we kind of go on and on. We have, I know the player's favorite one that we do is for whenever the other team travels. We have, we like to yell at them for traveling and that one's a real fun one. So you're trash talking? I'd say we are trash talking. That's a perfect way to put it. The basketball band is awesome. And we thank you guys so much for the work that you do for the fan experience. Cheering on our Gamecocks is a team sport because imagine coming to the arena and no one celebrating with you. Well, that's where Joe O'Claire comes in. He's the Assistant Athletics Director for Marketing and Fan Experience. Why is it so important that fans feel an, an experience or an engagement to what's happening on the court? Yeah, so I mean, I think it's home court advantage is so important and fans want to be a part of the game. They want to be a part of the team. So that's our job, that's the team's job, that's social media, it's all of our jobs to kind of make them feel a part of us because that keeps them coming back and then that kind of creates more and more fans down the line and creates the atmospheres that we have here. 
Have you ever seen an experience where a game that the tides turned because of the fan experience or the way that the crowd was responding and it actually turned the tide of the game for, for a win? Oh, absolutely. I mean, I think our men's basketball Clemson game this year, or the women's basketball UCLA, the same situation. The game was close. If the fans are in it and if they're loud and they create a crazy environment, the other team kind of gets a little startled and then it kind of helps our team perform a little better. Your message to alumni and friends of the university who are kind of on the, the edge as to whether or not to, to come out on uh, to, to see a game, what would you say to them? Yeah, we just want them to catch a game. And that's our kind of theme right now, just catch a game. Whether it's one game, all games, some games, whether you live far away, just come back at least one game once a year so that you still feel that kind of unity with the university, with athletics. And once you get here, we're going to have a good time for you that you're going to keep coming back. And eat a lot. Yes, yes, eat lots of food. Thank you for joining us for this latest edition of Inside Carolina. What a great day of Gamecock basketball. Truly fun for the whole family. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to share it with your friends, family, and fellow Gamecock fans. And we'll see you back here for another edition of Inside Carolina.